What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video again I'm going to be showing you how to flash the latest Evolution X ROM and right when I thought that I have made all the guides to actually flash the Evolution X ROM that's when the developer has made this ROM F2FS only and yes a lot of people are on AXT4 storage let me actually show you from here as you can see it shows user data now switched to F2FS by default if you are on ext4 you might want to back up your current data and format to f2fs for less issues right now it has completely switched to f2fs so i think we all have to do that and yes the previous guides that i have made are no longer applicable for the latest build and this particular build that i'm going to flash today is the 24th august 2022 build by the way based on android 13 again and it has a huge change log if you're noticing I am on the like Android 13 Evolution X build. This is a third build of 21st August 2022. This is on ext4. Let me show you. So if you want to check your storage, you can find this out with this dev check app. Just go to hardware, then scroll down, go to your storage, then click on show. And over here, if you scroll down, you will see the data partition. As you can see, this is the data partition and it shows ext4 right over here. So that simply means we have to format the data partition to F2FS. So right now I'm going to do that and yes, I have the latest Orange Fox recovery installed on my device. If you do not have that, you can definitely install the Orange Fox recovery from the guides present in the description. And I have downloaded all the necessary files. I'm going to use this OTG drive to actually flash. That's why I have to format the data. So if you're proceeding to flash the latest build and you want to format data and stuff, then make sure you back up everything because everything on your device's internal storage will be wiped with this process. So right now I'm just going to reboot to the recovery. So let's go to advanced then select recovery. As you can see, this is the latest R11.1 underscore four stable orange box recovery that I will use for this update or like for clean flashing the latest F2FS based Android 13 Evolution X ROM. I always use decrypted storage on the Redmi K20 Pro at least. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to format data but before that again you need to back up everything if you haven't done that just back up to your PC just by connecting a USB cable or something and back up your accounts and stuff so that you can log in later. So yeah let me just go into the wipe section and from here I'm going to format the data. So let me just do that and from format data you just type yes and just click on write and wait for the time being. So I just formatted the data. So that's why I need to reboot the recovery once. Let me just do that. Let's go into menu, then reboot and reboot the recovery. So right now to actually change the data partition to F2FS, we have to head on to the menu section again, then manage partition, then click on this data, this data partition over here then hit write. As you can see, this is the ext4 file system. So I'm going to change that. So I'm going to click on the change FS. The full from of FS is file system, of course. And from here, as you can see, we have multiple options like this. It was on ext4, but we are going to select F2FS right here. And we need to swipe to actually change this. And yes, right now it's getting formatted to the F2FS storage for the data partition. As you can see, it shows format complete. And right now I need to go home and let's just reboot the recovery once. So right now, if I go into the menu, manage partition and select data, and click right as you can see my file system of the data partition shows as f2fs that simply means we have successfully formatted the data to f2fs right now let's just go home and right now i'm going to connect this otg drive because i have all the files over here so right now if i go into this and click on usb storage as you can see all my data shows up on the usb otg drive and from here first things first i am going to select the firmware that is the 1251 miui firmware and this is the 99 MB firmware. You can download it from the description again. And then add to queue. Then I'm going to select the latest Evolution X build, which is the 24th August 2022 build. If you're noticing this build date right here. So I'm going to select that and add to queue again. Then I'm going to select this disable DM Verity Force Encrypt. And I am not really sure if this one will work. If it doesn't work, I'm going to try another one. But yeah, right now, let's just continue with this one. And I just selected reboot after installation so that it reboots automatically after flashing. So right now let's just swipe to install and wait for the time being. And the flashing is done. Right now it's automatically rebooting to system and it shows the boot animation I mean. So I need to wait for the time being. 
So yep, seems like it has successfully booted up into the system. So let's continue with the setup. And right now we can actually remove this USB OTG drive. So after setting it up, this is how the about section looks like. We got the Evolution X logo up top and the Android version is showing up as 13 of course. And we have the 7.0 version as Eve for a file. And official build again, we have the latest August security patch. Now the stock kernel here is the Soviet star kernel still. And the build date, if you're noticing, has updated to 24th August 2022. And talking about the other changes, if you go into the gestures right now, we got this double tap option. And here we have the swipe to take screenshot and stuff still. And we have the gesture navigation. And if you scroll down, we get this swipe to invoke assistant option. Then we have the pill length customization actually. And the full screen gestures options are also there right now. So yeah, you are getting a lot more new things. So yes, right now, if you're noticing the double tap to sleep is working properly on the status bar. And even the fingerprint scanner speed, just notice how fast and fluidly it unlocks. And yes, this is a much more smoother experience, I would say. So yes, I'll be reviewing this particular 24th August build or even later ones if it gets even more updates. So yeah, do stay tuned for that. But this is how right now you need to flash if you are going to flash the latest Evolution X ROMs based on F2FS data partition. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from Kerry and Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.